Hey cakers and bakers, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, I'm Emery Lee Miller and this is my Sugar Rush. So today I want to talk about my cake decorating tool bag that I take with me on all of my cake deliveries. So I actually, when I went to cake school, they gave us this amazing school bag that I absolutely loved. It had a lot of sentimental value to it and it was just so good for deliveries and it was this nice satchel bag and it had a tear away bag when I wanted to just have a small bag with me. So about two years ago what happened was I had that bag and it was stolen out of my car. Like I was just distraught. I'm still not over it. I went to go find my cake decorating bag to look for a specific tool that I knew I left in there and I couldn't find it anywhere. My husband came and joined me and we were running around the house trying to find this bag at like probably four o'clock in the morning. It suddenly occurred to me that my bag was stolen. It was the only explanation for it. I must have left it in the car and it was gone, along with a cake stand. So I had to do the research to find a new bag. It had to be just as amazing as that bag, but actually there's a few things I was looking for in addition to that. And that's how I found the bartender bag. So the bartender bag is actually a product made by Tillit NYC. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is the bag. It is amazing. It is everything I was looking for and then some. It has a nice sturdy strap on top as well as a strap on the side. So you can carry it either way. Then it has these padded back straps, but these are removable and you can tuck the straps into the back of the bag. In the back here, you have a laptop compartment. And if you can see that, it's very well padded. I definitely would feel safe putting my laptop in this bag. You could also have a whole stack of papers back there or whatever you're carrying around. Now for the front. The front has two zippers and it's very nicely padded. And when you open this up, it does have mesh netting up here with a zipper, like what you would find in a suitcase. It also has these three sections here. And these three sections are optional. You can actually move these different compartments away. You can unzip the sides to be able to push these out of the way and flatten out this entire section. This mini bag is actually removable and this is my favorite part and this is what I always take on my deliveries. The bigger bag is if I really need to carry a lot of stuff with me. I've only had to do it once or twice, but this goes on every single delivery with me. I'll drop a link below for Tilla NYC's Instagram page as well as their website. Ooh. And this is actually not an affiliate link type of situation. I just really am very passionate about this delivery bag. It was everything I had been looking for, and I think that everyone should have one when you're doing wedding cakes. One of my favorite features about this bag that my last little tearaway bag didn't have was the handle. So it has a handle here, but the best part is this on the other side. It has two little Velcro patches and you can unvelcro it and it turns into a little satchel because your hands get kind of full sometimes carrying this big, huge, like three tiered wedding cake and to also carry a bag underneath your arm, which was my last bag, this just simplifies it. I can throw it over my shoulder and it's nice and secure to my back. It doesn't swing around to the front because it's just super secure and I'm able to just throw this on, grab the cake and walk in the door. Now to the part of what I actually put in my cake delivery tool bag. So in this section here, I like to have my business cards. This is a great opportunity to network with clients. So always keep a stack of business cards in your bag at all times that you can easily reach in, grab it and say, hey, thank you so much for your compliments. Please, if you know someone, give this away. Now for all my tools in here. Everything I need for my delivery fits perfectly. I love it so much. First of all, hair scrunchie. You're working with food, put your hair up, please. I always keep a spool of white ribbon in my bag as well as I also keep craft glue and corsage pins. So when I'm adding the ribbon to my drum, I just quickly run along the sides of the drum with my glue. I add the ribbon, I cut it down, and I use a corsage pin to pin it in the back. Obviously scissors in case you need to cut anything while you're at the venue like the ribbon. These are floral scissors that easily cut into flower stems so that when you're arranging flowers on the cake, you can easily cut everything up, cut down the stems, wrap them, 
put them on the cake. Then there's the needle nose pliers. So these pliers have a grip on the inside of them, if you can see that. And it also has wire cutters right here inside of the needle nose pliers. And this is so I can take the floral wire that's also in my bag and I can loop it like this and you can actually stick it down into the center of your flowers if your stems are too short to be able to stick the flower in the cake. Then of course, to actually avoid sticking flowers directly in your cake, there are boba tea straws. So this is so I can easily cut them down, stick them into my cake, stick the flowers in there, and it's not directly touching the cake itself. I don't know if you guys know this, but actually some flowers are poisonous. Like baby's breath and hydrangeas, those are actually poisonous and should not touch your cake directly. You could make your customers sick. I just remembered another use for the straws is there have been just a few times where I go to deliver the cake and they're like, hey, surprise, there's a cake topper going on this cake. And it's like this big, heavy topper that they expect to sit on that cake for hours. So a quick, easy solution is to stick straws in the top of the cake, cut them down, and then place this heavy topper on top of those straws. That way the big heavy topper won't eventually sink into your cake and destroy it. Of course, non-latex gloves in case for whatever reason I feel it's necessary to touch some parts of the cake to make some adjustments. Maybe it's too heavy and I have to stack it on site. I'll put the gloves on because some venues you'll be surprised don't have anywhere for you to wash your hands or you have to go wash your hands in the bathroom and that's just disgusting to me to go to the bathroom wash my hands and come back and touch the cake that that's awful so here are gloves and a nice clean ziploc bag as well clean q-tips and everclear that i put in this little tiny non-leaking bottle so that i can dip the q-tips into the alcohol and i can erase any parts on the cake if let's say during delivery i've accidentally touched a part of the cake that's gold or something and i've accidentally rubbed some gold on a nice white part of the cake this will erase any of those marks on your fondant a big huge spatula so if you do wedding cakes they are so heavy and sometimes you can't get your fingers underneath the drum and you're trying to get it out of your car or maybe you've already gotten it into the venue and you've placed it on one table and you need to move it over to another table what i can do is ever so gently wedge this underneath the drum lift it up just enough that i can stick my fingers underneath and then what i do is when i get my hand underneath I drop this off to the side and then I stick my other hand underneath and I'm able to get my hands under this cake and lift it up. Little offset spatula as well as a bag of buttercream if it's a buttercream cake and I need to fix any issues that happen during transit. Then you can use your little bag of buttercream to maybe fill in some dents that happen and then you can smooth it out with your spatula. Big huge tweezers with a grip on the inside. This is so if I'm trying to stick flowers into a cake and the flowers are super delicate and I'm trying to stuff it into this cake even further and maybe the cake is still cold and it doesn't want to go in. So you can go in from behind without accidentally touching your cake with your hand because you know these stubby little sausages and you can get behind those delicate little petals. You can grip it with your tweezers and be able to push it deeper into the cake, into that straw. Okay, this is super important as well. So pieces of cardboard that I've actually cut from regular cake boxes. They're super thin and I just keep a little stack of these. Here's the reason why, and I'm sure if you've done cake deliveries, this has happened to you, where you go to set the cake down and the cake table is too wobbly. It is not a stable table and that is so frustrating. So my solution to quickly fix it is I keep a stack of these on hand and I will take pieces of cardboard however many it takes, sometimes just one, sometimes it takes multiples, bend it in half and you stick it underneath one of the legs of the tables and it will keep it from wobbling. It's a quick easy fix to get in and out as fast as possible. Then I keep a paring knife just in case. I don't know, I just like to have it in my bag. Last but not least, floral tape. And this is so that I can wrap flowers together and be able to create a beautiful arrangement on my cake. I would love to know what you guys keep in your cake delivery bag. Is there anything you think that I missed that is super essential to a cake delivery repair toolkit? 
Obviously, depending on what cake I'm delivering, sometimes I have to throw in special items specifically for that cake. Don't forget to like, and especially don't forget to subscribe to my videos for more delicious content coming your way. And while you're here, why don't you go check out some of these other videos? Thanks, bye.